So today we're going to look at multi-user administration within an IMC system. So why do you want to do this? Well, different management domains, whether that's maybe area of responsibility, wireless management versus, um, I don't know, maybe WAN management, for instance, right? That's one area. Or maybe different geographies, somebody's responsible for one branch or another. Um, and as well, different levels of responsibility, right? We can look at things like um, who has read-only access, who has full access, and, and really, the other thing is it's just nice to kind of have something that is laid out the way you work, right? So IMC has a very customizable dashboard, so it would be nice if you can have an individual dashboard per user, again, to, to play along the things like management responsibility roles, those kinds of things. So let's take a look. So here we are on the IMC interface. We're going to be working with device groups as the way that we're going to segment out privilege on the system today in the operator. Um, so I'm not going to set up the device groups. Go see the dynamic custom views and device groups for a little more information on that video. It's posted elsewhere on the channel. So what we're going to do here is go and look at the custom views, which is one way we can segment out, as well as device groups, right? So we got custom views here, um, one called WAN, and we're going to create an operator specifically for the WAN group of devices and custom views. So we're going to go look at the WAN group here, and we've got this in system, groups, device groups. And as you can see, this group has already been set up. We've got an operator assigned who has privilege over it, which is admin. And again, the admin account has privilege over everything, godlike rights on the system. So we really can't um, segment out anything that's an admin account. But we've got a bunch of devices here which is currently in an unmanaged state. And we are going to go create an operator group um, that's going to allow us to manage those. Again, if you look at all the custom views we've got set up, all those devices are in that WAN group, right? And probably actually a couple more, to be honest. So what we're going to do now is go into um, the system operators, right? And we're going to go take a look at uh, setting up a operator group. So we're going to go operator management, operator. Now we're going to add a new operator. And um, again, keep in mind here, we want this guy only to have access to those WAN devices, which is based on the device group and the custom view. So we will call this operator bill. We're going to give him a password, right? So this is just going to be, you know, whatever his password wants him to be. He can come in and change this later if he wants. And where the privileges start to change here is the operator group. So we're going to change this to a maintainer group. As I said, the administrator will always, always have complete access to everything in the system, right? The maintainer group can do things, but doesn't have complete access, and the view obviously only has read-only account. So we're going to change to the manage groups here to define manageable groups, and right now we've only got one group in the system, so we're going to change that to the WAN device. Um, as always, fill in your descriptions wherever you can. More information is always better. And we're also going to change the manageable custom views. Right, so if we had left that normal, they would see all these custom views, but would still only see the devices that they actually have access to. But we want to we want to really shut this guy down and make sure he only has access and can focus on what his responsibilities are. And as you can see here at the bottom, we've got um, some other things we we could actually control um, which devices he could log in through um, those kind of things. Not really concerned about that. We just want to get this guy um, up and running quickly. Operator bill successfully added. Great. So now Bill is added. So let's go here and again look at the resources. So you can see kind of what the resource page looks like. You've got all these different routers and switches, you know, all that stuff. Now we're going to log out and log back in as Bill. And we're going to see how the interface changes. So instead of admin, I'm going to log in with the Bill account and use Bill's password and click on the login button. So Bill is going to now get his own home page, and um, this is actually Bill's home page. So it looks very similar to maybe what was on the admin, but if I customize this home page, it's going to be Bill's settings. So when we go click on the resource tab now, look at that. What happened to all those devices we had to manage? Well, Bill doesn't have privilege on those devices. So again, we've got this WAN, right? We've got all these different devices, so I can go through and I have the privilege to be able to manage them. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to set this up to be managed again. And now my devices are successfully managed. So as you can see here, um, Bill has his own account on the system and only has the rights to see the devices that he has access to. 
So in the background, IMST is still using the same accounts to be able to access these devices. So privilege is really controlled from an IMC standpoint between the user and IMC, and, and the privilege is what we display to that user. It's not actually what rights IMC has to the devices. IMC still retains those rights, so that's kind of an important thing to understand here, is the Telnet, SSH, SNMP strings, all those things, those are still the same, so you don't have to worry about that back-end administration stuff. It's all handled by the rule-based administration controls within the front end, which is based around these device groups um, and, and the operator accounts, and as well as operator groups, which we will look at in the next video. So if we take a look at the network topology here, we're going to see the same thing. When you go in and look at the topologies as compared to the admin, we've still got only that one custom topology, and we've only got the devices in the device group that this particular operator, Bill, has been given privilege over. Right, so it, it's it's a great way to be able to give um, specific privileges again based on responsibilities for devices. You might have a a LAN administrator as well as a data center administrator. You might have branches, ge geographical responsibilities, all those kinds of things. Or you just might want to know um, no segmentation of privilege from a multi-user standpoint and just be able to track who did what on the system. That's a good reason as well. See you guys next time in the next IMC management tutorial where we will look at multi-user admin with operator groups.